Welcome back to the Seaboard Central, everyone, in part six in the Realistic Ops series. In this episode, we're going to be talking about car types, AAR car types. AAR stands for Association of American Railroads. Now, most modelers are familiar with the mechanical designation codes. That's not the same thing as the AAR car type. So I'm going to show you how to figure that one out. So as always, if you enjoy the video, I appreciate a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get started. So let's look at this empty way bill for this scrap metal gun that's destined to a customer in Carrollton, Georgia, which I'm going to represent on my model railroad. And you'll see here, right here is the car number. It's a DJJX950840. And right next to it is the actual AAR car type. And then below that is that mechanical designation code. So how in the world will we be able to find out what a J312 is? Well, this is the kind of car that it actually is talking about. This is an old coal wear gun that's been converted to haul scrap metal. So I'm going to show you how you can figure out how to identify these. And if you model the current era, it's uh, going to be easy for you if the car is still has an active number and hasn't been renumbered or it hasn't been scrapped. So if you'll look at the cars that's currently sitting in the, my yard right here, you'll see a number of covered hoppers. And for the mechanical designation code, that would just be LO for a covered hopper. But AAR car types are different for all of them, depending on their size and capacity. For example, look at this one car that's on the layout right now, the TILX640701. And I'm going to show you what the AAR car type is for this particular car. So here's the equipment information for that TILX 640701. And here you see the car type is listed as a C114. And here's the mechanical designation code in LO. And this is called UMLR information. And UMLR stands for Universal Machine Language Equipment Register. So UMLR is managed by Raillink Corporation, and it was founded in 1998 and is a subsidiary of the Association of American Railroads. It's actually a computer file maintained by the AAR of over 2 million rail cars and locomotives that are active in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. The latest version of UMLR was created in 2006 Prior to 1988, the AAR had some kind of punch card system where it was associated with the rail cars, and now it's all done by the computer. So many of you are probably asking, why do I need to know what the AAR car type code is? Why not just use the mechanical designation code? And that's a good question. For those of you that modeled prior to the 1990s, keeping up with the mechanical designation code will be just fine. But for those of us who model the modern era, including the AAR car type code, will add a whole new level of realism. And I'll show you how I'm incorporated into my operations. Here's an example of some paperwork that I use on the Seaboard Central. And this was actually from the old layout. This is a track inventory switch list, and it's based off of some uh, my version of a prototype uh, switch list that we use. Um, you'll note that right here it shows the type in the AAR car type in this column. This is one of the reasons why I use uh, the AR car type instead of the mechanical designation code. Also, this uh, car type will be found on a block consist or will report that I'll show you in an upcoming video. So using your computer, go to your search engine. I'm using Umler here. Type in U-M-L-E-R, and the first thing that comes up is the Umler system by Rail Link. We'll click on that. This is basically talking about Umler. You can scroll down through here. You even have some videos about Umler. But what we want to do is keep going until we get to this Umler reference materials. And we want to click on the Umler data specification manual. All right, once we get to there, we want to scroll down. There is a lot of information on this page, but what we're looking for are these equipment type codes, Appendix I, and that's on page 350. So that's the page we want to go to, is page 350. Once we get on page 350, we're gonna see 
and they're going to start with each particular car type with the first being um, equipped box cars using starting with the letter a you'll see alpha it's the alpha numeric code and here's how they determine the first numeric, the second numeric, and the third numeric. And it's different depending on what kind of car it is. In the case of box cars, it talks about the inside length. Um, that determines what the first number is. You can see like a 50-foot box car would either be um, three or four. So it would be A and then the number three or four. The second numeric would be that mechanical designation code. So it could be a zero for XP. And the third numeric would be what type of door the car has. So it, how big the door is, whether it's a sliding door or a plug door or a combination door would determine what kind of car it is. So you can tell this, uh, there's a lot of information here. Here's covered hoppers beginning in C. Talks about... Um, you could figure it out, it would take you a while, but I'm gonna show you a much simpler way. So I made a list of all the uh, letters and what they stand for with these e equipment type codes. And you'll notice on here, there's a lot of instances where you'll have, uh, for example, the box cars, equipped box cars versus unequipped box cars. And the same thing for gondolas and hopper cars. And this just goes to show you that uh, through the years, rail cars have become more specialized. Years ago, they were pretty much generic, um, general use. And now there's rail cars that are really designed to haul one particular product their whole, whole lifespan. So when I said before that if the car is active, if there is a real prototype rail car out there with that car number rolling around anywhere in North America, we can find out what that car type is. So let's use this as an example, this MCEX. 330118. All right, so we're back on this search page for Umler. Right below the Rail Link Umler site is a ship CSX Umler search. And CSX has made it easy. That car is active. We can just simply click on this. In this box, we can type in the real car number. In this case, is the MCEX, and then we space 330118. And you click on rail car detail. Here it is. And you see right here, mechanical designation code is LO. AAR car type code is a C112. It also gives you some dimensions and the uh, maximum weight on rail. A lot of cool information that you can get just uh, using this site. So I hope you found this video both informative and interesting. Next week we'll be doing the March 2024 layout update and then we'll pick back up with Realistic Ops Part 7. Really enjoy making these videos and I hope you enjoy watching them. So until next time, I'm Tim Garland. Thanks for watching the Seaboard Central and happy model railroading everyone. <laughs>